chasing a road to glory driven since i was a child if you want to think bad enough to go out and fight for it work day and night for it happy may 1st everybody happy wednesday happy hump day um, heading off to the office, got an 8.30 call. I uh, want to check in with Peter, the new hire today, see how things ended up uh, for him yesterday. Um, and then after the 8.30 call, gonna have a 10 o'clock, uh, 12 o'clock, uh, I want to say a two, a three, and a five. So let's go make this happen. Happy Wednesday, everybody. We're having a fantastic day. Got in here, it's 7.05. Make it in early. Carrying this and that. So, hands are a little full. Let's get started. Okay, top of the morning here. Hope you're doing great. Um, you can hear in the background, got a little conference or a little uh, video going on to be able to do some learning when it comes to some of my skills as a <laughs> in my role. And so, just getting in the top of the morning set here. Uh, hopefully, we'll get in, well, we'll get in at least five. Um, maybe we'll go for eight. Let's go for eight. Set a little goal for myself. Put it out there. Knock it out of the park. Don't want to get too sweaty. Top uh, 705 run, running here into the office. Um, first one in. Like like being able to get the first one in. Get more stuff done. Sure All right, everybody. Hope you're doing great. Uh, I got here in the office. Podcast today actually from a motivation perspective, comes from a question that was asked me by Jared on IG, wanted to know what you should do when it comes to career um, career or schooling, and uh, just the high cost of debt when it comes to uh, going to college. And so my answer to that is, it's a little more complicated than just, hey, should I go to college or not? From the perspective of, uh, a lot of people don't know at the age of 18 what they want to be doing, and so they don't know uh, what's the best call to even go to, uh, or should I incur all that debt? Am I going to get the rate of return that I want um, based on that college education? And so really what I would do is have a look at a couple things. Number one is I think a lot of times people, they discount or they don't think of the network that you're going to build when you go to college. So look at your current network at, at high school. Are those people, are they go-getters? Are they driven to go get more than what's currently being fed in front of them? And that's going to be able to help align you with the right group of people. A lot of times people will talk about their college um, college buddies, college friends, they might even marry their college sweetheart. And so it's these huge opportunities that when you go to college that you really can't put a price on when it comes to the overall student loan debt. At the same time, are there ways that you can reduce that debt? Um, community college is a great one. A lot of times look at the overall curriculum. Do you still have to do general education? And so maybe there's an opportunity to be able to do that online or at a community college, reduce that cost. If you're going to a different state, work there, live there for a year, establish that residency. And then that way, then when you apply, you're gonna get um, in-state tuition. The, the costs are ex excessively low. And then as you go, um, so when you think about going to college, number one, obviously you're thinking about, okay, what would I be doing there? If in high school you didn't really um, enjoy that, but think about the different skills, like there's welding, there's carpentry, there's, um, you know, like engineering. There's a whole multitude of different facets that aren't just typical four-year degrees, right? So if you go, oh, I get a finance degree, a business degree, I think a lot of people talk about that when it comes to business, but maybe you can go get to your local community college and get like an entrepreneurship, maybe you can get a sales certificate. And so what you're doing is you're getting a specific skill set that can instantaneously be applied. I'd say one of the strong things that community colleges have done um, over the years is they've worked with local employers in the community to be able to make sure that their education aligns with the entry-level roles that they're looking for. And so that can be extremely powerful for your degrees a lot of times we'll get some different sponsorships or some different partnerships with some different organizations but I find that the, the overall community college is working with businesses right there in their own backyard and and that makes them a little bit more nimble the other thing that I have a look at when it comes to college is again look at that network um, do you have people that are wanting to go places or are they basically just looking for the weekend and for, for me personally professionally um, 
working for the weekend doesn't ha add any value to what someone has aspirationally in life. And so if that's the network that you have are people that are only constantly looking to, to Saturdays and Sundays and not focus on what they want to build in life Monday to Friday, then you might want to be able to go to college in order to build that network and get involved with you know student body, get involved with um, um, clubs and other organizations to be able to really round out your overall experience and your overall skill set. And that's the people side of college that I don't think gets talked about. Um, so just to kind of remember with my, my bias, right? So um, I went to college and so I had, um, even to this day, I have a, a real close group of buddies that I went to college with and they've impacted my life um, in immense ways that it's probably in, incalculable on, on their impact on me. And so for me to say like, to totally discount college would be, really obsolete just because it would it would completely change the trajectory of my life the other thing that i would say when it comes to uh going to college is that there's there's lower cost ways to kind of go about it so some people will talk about how expensive it is and then i'll say well have you looked at like the military route um, there's a lot of people i know even a ton of physicians doctors that went the military route because that was their end game and they knew that if they put in seven years post graduation that um you know into into being in the reserve or um and <clears throat> but their skill set was medicine then they knew that they would they're giving time versus money up front and that's exactly the, the opposite uh, people that don't want to go the military route there is financial aid that's available um, a lot of times if you do have parents that are active in your life you, you need to include their compensation uh, but a lot of times if you can go have a conversation with the financial aid office and just be like look my parents have never gone this uh, college they're not going to help me at all it, it's, it's all me and so they're, they're, they're going to work with you a lot of times too people don't know if they're a minority they're um, you know, an uh, underrepresented uh, ethnicity. A lot of times there's grants, there's different funding that's going to be uh, scholarships that are available to you that's going to help, again, drive that cost down lower. Are we investigating? Are we finding out those solutions to get to where we want to go? And then finally, the, the last thing that I would say is if I look at college, so um, the disparity between those in the United States that have just graduated high school and those that have a college degree, on average, it's a it's a four times more not four times three times more right out of the gate of income difference and it is it is proven that the more education you get the more income you get now getting that master's degree may or may not translate to that jump and in increase based on the cost of that of that master's degree but again that's digging in a little bit deeper i'd focus first and foremost two-year or four-year degree what's going to be able to lead you to where you ultimately want to go and if you don't know right so that's really where i think a lot of a lot of times students um young folks they feel like they need to have all all things buttoned up they need to know exactly where things are going to go and it's okay not to um i would definitely say do a little research right so if you're looking at your local community college what do they offer there and what seems of interest and what you'll find is you're either going to gravitate more towards numbers, more towards people, more towards health. And, and you know what I mean? Like we all have different interests. And then, and then, and then you, now you know which area to go in. And if you go to the community college, it's going to be a lot more to be able to kind of experiment with some different courses, some different classes, than go straight to the four-year university. And so it can give you the opportunity to, quote, unquote, try out where you want to go. The other thing that I would say is, depending on your your drive and your desire to, to learn, um, you can go and start your own thing. Just know that when you start your own thing, you're learning through the school of hard knocks. And so don't just go to work to work. I would go to work, but then I would be learning. I would be reading. I would be uh, watching videos on how I can get better. The more that you put in your your frame of mind on what you want to get, the more likely you are that you're going to move forward in a way that's meaningful. So let me just give you an example. A buddy of mine um, out of high school just started um, as a surveyor, um, phenomenal um, individual. And so for, uh, was it 12 years? He worked for someone else. And it, with the, the, the whole point though, he wasn't, it wasn't that he was going to go start his own thing, but it was just to work. He needed to go earn a living and um, and that's what he did. And so he'd be pounding stakes into the ground, you know, out traffic and out different places, surveying. And then he wanted to go out on his own. So he got certified 
to be a actual surveyor that he could stamp blueprints, you know, plans, project plans, developments. He can stamp it. Was totally out of his element. Does not like schooling, does not like that function of taking a test, but did it in order to then go off on his own and run his own business. And so for him, yeah, there was a lot of times where he would just go in and, and you know, go in and work and, and check out. But then the moment that he started his own thing, now all of a sudden he was reading all about, you know, leadership and hiring and firing and negotiations and um, how to run a business, miss, uh, E-Myth Revisited. And so he, he started building up this entire library of all these different books and trying to learn more. Plus, then he reached out to his own network, trusted advisors that could give him good advice, accountants, attorneys, financial advisors, insurance agents, and the like. And so when he became an entrepreneur, there was a lot of self-driven learning that didn't come out of a classroom. But he would tell me, it took a lot of hard work. If you compare it to someone that come right out, comes right out of college with a four-year degree, let's say in finance, they understood what it took him years to be able to figure out on the fly because when you're in the midst of running the business, it's not like you can take eight hours and go study. It was trying to squeeze it in in running the business. Understand that there's going to be a cost to get to where you want to go. The question is, do you want to put it up on the front end? Do you want to put it out during 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 it? I would say more likely not most people, if they want to move their career in a way that's meaningful for them, they're going to be constantly learning. And so the question is, is do you want to incur some debt in order to give yourself a springboard into where you want to go? If ultimately you just want to run your own business, I'd find out first, what do you want to be doing? Go work for somebody in, um, in your in your local community, uh, answering phones, whatever it takes, learn from them, and then in four or five years, go and do your own thing. Um, a lot of times, those that are successful enjoy sharing how they got to where they wanted to be. And you could be an uh, informal mentee um, or apprentice in that kind of capacity. So, Jared, hopefully this is helpful. Sherm's out. All right, everybody, finished the day, uh, very productive. Just finished a uh, meeting with a uh, new agent, with Peter, met with a prospective client. Uh, great conversations, ask questions, listen, constant reminder of that one. Um, just because I think a lot of times we have a tendency when we know a lot, wanting to talk a lot. So it's being able to have the discipline to ask the right questions and then just to sit back and allow the client to tell you exactly, or the prospective client to tell you exactly kind of what they want. And then by, by listening, that's how it gets done. And then, uh, let's see, uh, prior to that was working on just uh, practicing, role playing out. Um, I run some analysis on numbers. It comes back to this phrasing that winners keep score. And it's the, the analogy is if you see two kids playing or you see a group of kids playing basketball on the basketball court or the playground, and they're just shooting around, nothing serious, they're not keeping score, and then you say, hey, let's keep score, let's see, you know, first to 11, um, and then all of a sudden the intensity totally changes on that playground, and all that you've done is you've decided to keep score, and so we can do the same thing in business in a career sense and say, what, do, what, what are we doing to keep score to make sure that we're moving forward um, with a way that's motivating for everyone there? Um, and so I was putting together some numbers, and then prior to that, um, had um, uh, one on one, and a, uh, and then with the managing managing director, and then prior to that, uh, had lunch with one of the agents and trying to plan out just a, a marketing plan that we think can be productive, uh, going after some specific business owners going forward. So hope you're all doing well. Now it's time to go pick up my boys, uh, youth group, and Boy Scouts. Sherm's out. Hey there, everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic day. This comes from Jared. He'd asked me about, um, you know, going into college, uh, thinking about debt, not necessarily knowing what he wants to do. And so I'd say for a lot of people is take the time to figure out what you want to be doing. And don't just think about college just for school. So debt for college learning. Think about as well the network that you can build there, the friends, the relationships, you know, boyfriends, girlfriends, etc. that can last an entire lifetime. So if, when it comes to college, it's not just the exchange of money for tuition as much as it is for learning about who you are, wh where you want to be, your overall network, 
and as well what you want to be doing. I think sometimes from a practical perspective, we can be looking at community colleges, we can look at tech schools, we can be looking at um, you know beauty school, cosmetology, different things that give you interest at a lower cost before jumping into those um, four-year college universities. Storms out. All right, everybody, here we are. Uh, finally got home about 8.45. Hope you're all doing well. Good day. Nobody's safe around me.